Hey everyone, this week there was a failed assassination attempt at former President Trump, with many fearing that newly acquitted Alec Baldwin had decided to show up to the rally. If the attempt to permanently remove Trump from the race was all a plot concocted up by someone on the Biden team, though, then it should come as no surprise that it was an incompetent disaster. I'd barely trust Kamala Harris to take out the recycling, let alone take out a political opponent. Anyway, the shooter was supposedly a 20-year-old, quote, lone gunman. Um, although there's a BBC interview where some supporters explain it, they repeatedly told the Secret Service about a suspicious man on the roof with a rifle, but were repeatedly ignored. In the meantime, most legacy news outlets ran with the story about how Trump had collapsed on the stage, as if to compare it to one of Biden's many gaffes or medical failings. You do have to admire the irony that most people crazy enough to shoot Trump are so avidly against the Second Amendment that if they tried to organise a conspiracy, they'd likely struggle to find someone with a decent aim these days, ready and able. Maybe that's what happened here. Maybe they should get some red MAGA hats where it stands for Make Accuracy Great Again. And talking about good aim, the person who took that photograph of the former president and the flag behind him with a fist in the air is surely a front runner for the Pulitzer Prize this year. As to everyone else, a member of the public was sadly killed by one of the missing shots, and the rest of Trump's supporters are chanting about how they stand with him, just not behind him to the right. As to Biden, well this week he got President Zelensky mixed up with Vladimir Putin at a conference that insiders said undid months of political wrangling at behind the scenes that might have actually led to a peace treaty with Ukraine. Until last night, I was actually originally going to be drawing a cartoon of Biden this week, going on Wheel of Fortune, and the puzzle category is Presidents of Ukraine, and he's already got the letters Z, L, N, S, K and Y, but takes a failed go at solving the puzzle. Anyway, this is not too bad either. That's all for now. See you next week. If you like these clicks, subscribe.